Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. My name is Namit and today our topic is to how to automatically read the OTP in Android and in your application. So first of all, let me show you the output and sorry for the thing that I can show you the emulator because I can show you the output on emulator because my my emulator does not have any SMS uh, SIM card. So let me show you on my phone and you will receive the you will see some output in the log cat and he, you will hear some sound now and look guys this is our notification this is our OTP this is my message number phone number where I'm getting this OTP and this is my OTP hello your OTP is this so First of all, to read the OTP automatically into your application, you will have to get some permissions from user. And the permission is called receive SMS permission and read SMS permission. So let me show you how to do that. And your activity in your activity, which is I'm using main activity, you will have to have to ask for these two permissions, receive permission and read permission. Here I'm checking, does this app have this permission? if it does not have look if it is does not then request for this permission again if it is does not have for read sms permission request for this permission this is the only thing which android wants from us just for security purposes so now let me show you how this works this is my receiver this is broadcast receiver this is a global receiver for my application what it do what it does when someone sends some OTP, when some server or somebody sends some SMS to my phone, then this code will run. Okay. This code will run only then, only when you will have the permission, then this code will run. So what it does, it will receive the intent. And here I am filtering this intent with this SMS bundle because I have complete intent, complete message. I just need only SMS thing, not the complete. So I'm filtering, I'm getting data from here. And this, from this data object, I am creating my current SMS. I am getting my current SMS, which is my OTP. And from where I got the OTP, this number, this is my current SMS. So current SMS dot get display originating address is my sender number. Sender number is this. 9795 I'm printing just last four digits and this is my message hello your OTP is 1234 current message don't get display message body and also you should always check for the null values because if somebody sends fake message or something then this will be a null message and your application will gonna crash boom okay so this is what so I got the message i got the phone number now i have this in this class incoming sms i can send this to my i have to send this to my activity like a activity verify otp where you where user have some edit text and on which this edit text will set automatically and then there is a button verify user will have to verify the otp and then user will complete his registration so to send this or SMS and message SMS number and message I am using these broadcast receiver this is local broadcast which I have registered into my activity look this one is global broadcast for my entire application this one is local broadcast only for just this activity so here it is this and look this I am receiving this I am registering this receiver on this flag you can say okay so intent filter action yep on this action so I am registering like this and on destroy I am unregistering this receiver okay it is unregistering is just for memory and something RAM kind of thing so because when you will not unregister your receiver then it will gonna leak the memory so you should do it okay so when this 
code will run these three lines this will send broadcast to main activity this message that this message and I am putting this message here okay so I am checking null looks guys how I am doing I am checking null I am checking get actor get extras null I am checking get extra get string extra null only when everything every condition will fulfill then I will get the message and now I got hello your OTP is 1234 here in this message but we don't need hello your OTP is we just need 1234 so I am filtering this with numbers this code will gonna give me only number this is regex uh, you should search for regex on and google okay so here I will get OTP now what I should do I should create a edit text edit text match parent wrap content you can say hint otp and id edt otp and i just don't want to waste the time that's why i'm doing this fast and also you should put these strings into a strings file in values and here I'm putting linear layouts vertical so first my edit text will come then I'm creating a button match parent trap content margin 30 db background color primary text go to verify okay text color white okay guys so now what I will do private edit text this edit text Now I will set this OTP into my edit text. Look, now when the mess, uh, when my my phone will receive message, then it will get filled in into this edit text. Now user will see this. It is filled in my edit text. Now user will verify by hitting this button, and you can put your code or API sends the OTP to your server. I'm not doing this in my in this tutorial. It is just you have to use a simple API async task retrofit because uh, not Picasso is only whatever you want to do. Okay, so this is you just have to use this receiver and you have to use this receiver or you can use interface or something for this one. I'm using this receiver. And also one last thing, you will have to register this incoming message into your manifest so your application will know that you have this receiver and sms will get sent to by this receiver okay so this will receive and and that's it guys i think we are good if you guys have any issue please ask me in comments and i have a lot of experience in this in these kind of tasks so and also please like and share this video and also please do comments ask everything every your doubt and if you want to, like uh, how to hit api i can show you that also just give my given in just ask me in the comments or give your uh, opinions or like whatever you want from me and also guys please do subscribe you guys are not subscribing i need subscribe obviously just for motivation and also I can do a lot of things I can make many tutorials so thank you guys that's it for now bye bye good night